As home embroiderers, we like to be able to see a design in actual thread colors before stitching it out. Updating or changing design thread colors to match your thread brand or better suit your project is easy in Hatch. Let's see how we can work with colors in Hatch Organizer. We have two places to work with color in this level. One is the Design Colors Toolbar, which is this bar that runs across the bottom, and the other is the Thread Stalker. And we can access the Thread Stalker by clicking the button here or clicking the button over here on the sidebar. Now, if we look at the Thread Stalker, we see that we have Isochord selected. And if I hover over these colors, these are Madeira Classic. So when you open a design, the colors bar at the bottom of your screen displays whatever colors were saved with that design. The color that's in this little box over here is the active color or the current color. Used colors are indicated by this little blue tab. If I click and hold on this one, we can see all the places that this color is used. Also, notice that this color is an isochord color. If I add colors with the Add Colors button, these colors are also isochord. And that's because my default template in Hatch uses isochord thread. I can remove unused colors, and it will remove all the unused colors on the right up to this last color. If I had an unused color in here, it wouldn't remove that. Let's add a few more colors. I can hide unused colors, and I can discard unused colors. Now what if I want to change a color? Well, there are two ways I can do that. Now, because this is that last color I added, it has become the active color. So if I want to apply that color, I can use the Paint Bucket tool, and I can just hover over an area and click to change that color. And notice that it changed it not only on the foot, but also the other foot. It looks like we have some travel stitches going up there, and it also changed this area. In Organizer, when we change a color, it's going to apply to all of the objects in the design that use that color at that color stop. Now let's find out a little bit more about this design. So although this shows us the colors we've used and the ones we haven't used, we don't know what order they've been used. And to do that, we'll go to the Design Information Docker and we'll go to the Thread Colors tab. And here you can see that color number one in the design is actually color number six down here. Color number two is color number one, and that color gets used multiple times. Color number three gets used twice. Color number five gets used twice. And this has to do with the layering in the design. Now the advantage here is it means I could change this color without changing this one. Now when I click and hold on this color, it's going to show me all the objects that use this color. If I pick a new color, I'll pick that same one again and I use the bucket tool, notice that it didn't get his eye. So around his eye is a separate yellow. I'll undo that, Control Z. Now we said that these were using Madeira Classic, but what if you use a different thread brand? I can click up here on Select Thread Charts and pick a new thread chart. First thing I'll do is I'll delete this one, and then I'll pick a new thread brand. We have a lot of choices here. So maybe I'll do Sulky, and I'll click OK. Now this column shows all the Sulky threads. These threads down here are still Madeira Classic, and the ones I added are still Isochord. So just because we've selected a thread chart doesn't change anything over here. If I want to change this one thread color to a different one, I can find the thread color, and I can select it, and I can single click and now that color has been updated. If I want to add one of these colors to the thread chart, I'll just double click it. So double clicking adds it to the thread colors bar, and now I'm able to use it in my design, and single clicking one, let's say I didn't mean to use that color, I want this color, will change the selected one. Now what if I want to change all of these to Sulky Thread? We have a Match All button over here. I'll click that, and now when I hover over these, all of these are now sulky colors. 